हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज श्रद्धा एंड आई हैव केम अप विद न्यू वीडियो रिगार्डिंग फाइनल ईयर प्रोजेक्ट्स सो आई हैव पिक टॉप फाइव प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑन विच यू कैन वर्क फॉर योर फाइनल ईयर एंड आल्सो इट इज़ वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर 2023 बैच एंड आल्सो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर यू द सोर्स कोड फॉर दैट प्रोजेक्ट सो यू कैन जस्ट रेफर दैट एंड वर्क ऑन योर प्रोजेक्ट so if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon okay so let's start the video so here we are going to see the final year projects for cse so our first project is phase detection project in the phase detection project we are going to use open cv library open cv means open source computer vision library it is the library which is geared mostly towards the real time computer vision so there are five major steps for face recognition project like first step is to install the libraries second step is to detect the faces third step is to gather the data fourth step is to train the data and fifth step is to start recognizing so open cv must be installed in your local machine and before running the program it is the good idea to create the proper location for xml classifier so for face detection projects you can just get the source code on github you can get the source code on kegel i'm going to share you the link in the description so just go through that so our second project is crime rate prediction in crime rate prediction we are going to use the algorithm which is k means algorithm which is basically the clustering algorithm which is going to be used with data mining technology this project focus on creating a model that can help to detect the number of crimes by the type in the particular state in this project various machine learning models like knn boosted decision trees will be used to predict the crimes area wise geographical analysis can be done to understand patterns and it works like this the administrator enters the crime data into the system the algorithm will examine and extract the facts and trends from the crime data combined in the database the crime grouping will be subsequently be constructed based on the patterns discovered in the data set so the clusters will be formed clusters basically means grouping similar things together so clusters will be formed based on the characteristics such as the crime location who was involved in the crime and when the crime occurred so the third project we are going to take is library management system in all institutions management systems are applied so whether it is a digital software or analog like records which we keep in books so everyone utilize it however for clean and correct data to exist at all times the data must be well managed so for that you can prepare the library management system to keep the track of the volumes in the library so basically this library management system project it is a library management in the college it is the project that manage and stores the book information according to the student need electronically the system help both student and library manager to keep the constant track of all the books available in the library it allows both to admin and the student to search for the desired book so basic objective for this project is to manage the details of address members issuers then book then student so our fourth project is instagram automation instagram is well known app that requires no introduction but what you should know is now you can automate your instagram experience including browsing through the feeds like liking and commenting on photos and even putting part of the data in separate file so that it can be used in image classification and deep learning applications so the basic skills required to do this projects is 
you should be good in python and also you should know the python libraries also you should know selenium and automation so our fifth topmost project is search engine so web annotation was used to create this search engine when users type specific terms or pages into a search engine it automatically gets the most prevalent pages that include those keywords making it one of the most popular computer science initiatives to create a new programmable search engine all you have to do is choose which site to search and give your search engine a name from the programmable search engine home page click create a custom search engine or new search engine yeah so that's all for this video if you like the video please give it a like and share it with your friends if you have any questions please ask me in the comment section okay then take care bye bye